emphasis, leg and hip strength. Use, sports or fitness strength and toning and knee injury prevention. Hi, it's Coach Chris with X Gym here, and we're here with Katarina. We're performing uh, some strength exercises that you can do at home to improve your strength. This is awesome because they help not only build up the strength in the legs, but they also protect the knees. The first one is going to be a single leg squat. It basically looks like this. You're going to be balancing on one leg, okay, and you're going to come down, bending at your knee and hip, and then you're going to touch your toe and then come up just like so. Again, balancing on one leg, go down, touch the toe, and come up just just like this. Ideally, you would hold that balance the whole time. You're going to do eight of them. Okay. The next one is going to be double leg squat. Stand up, jump, touch. It's a squat, jump. This is a really cool exercise because not only does it help work leg strength, but also work some explosiveness. The last one is going to be a walking lunge. The walking lunge is really cool because it strengthens the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes, the largest muscles in the body. So you're going to step out here, touch, and I call this an extension lunge. You're going to extend, touch, just like this, extend, touch, nice and relaxed, extend, touch, pushing the ground behind you, okay? So we call this the extension lunge, go in reverse, we have the jump squat, and then of course we have the single leg squat. Let's have you go ahead and begin. We're going to do eight repetitions for each leg. Go ahead and start when you're ready. One, good. There's two. So you notice how she's balancing here, and she can bring her leg behind her to help balance as well, too. She's touching her toe as a gauge, so not only is this a strengthener for the muscles in her legs, but also it works her kinesthetic sense, her balance. This is good stuff. Good. There you go. Now we're going to the right leg. And you want to make certain that you bend that right knee just a little bit, so we do get some knee flexion going on there, so you are working the quadricep. Good. There you go. Good. Great. And if you wanted to make this more challenging, what we could do is we could actually have you go up onto your toe. So that's an option. If you want to make it more challenging, go up onto your toe. But right now, flat-footed is great. It's plenty challenging. Uh, let's go to the next exercise. Okay. Jump squat. Good. Two. Good. So notice what she's doing is as she's jumping, she's coming down and immediately touching and coming back up again. There's no pause. There's no hesitation. Now, it's not so fast that she's out of control, but it's fast enough where, again, it's continuous, okay? So after we perform approximately 10 of the jump squats, okay, we're going to now perform a walking lunge. Good. Pushing the ground behind you. We call this the extension lunge, arching the back, pushing behind you, cut in a good, just like so. Good. We want to do approximately 10 to 15 steps on this. Okay, we'll do the same thing coming back. Go ahead and begin. Good. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest. Good. So it was eight down, eight back. It's approximately 16 steps. That would be one set. For each of these exercises, you want to do approximately three sets. For the single leg squat, three sets of eight repetitions, each leg alternating right then left. For the jump squat, you want to perform approximately three sets of ten jump squats. And then for the walking lunge, you want to approximately, uh, perform approximately three sets of ten to fifteen steps. Rest approximately thirty seconds between each set. Okay, we will see you guys next time. Yeah.